It is storming like crazy outside, and I thought it'd be a great time to do another Anthony Gucciardi video that really, really angers some people, hurts their feelings, but it's something we need to talk about. This is something every single person, you need to listen to this, and you need to talk about this with yourself, have some inner dialogue. Because why does something like this piss someone off when I say, your degree might be completely worthless. I don't care if you have a Harvard degree, an Oxford degree, I don't care what it is, it might be as worthless as a piece of toilet paper that you can use to clean yourself, okay? Um, and why do I say that? And I say it may be, by the way, not that it is, not that it is, but it may be worthless, completely, completely worthless. I say that, let me give you a little bit of thought here. So what has come from what I call social pressure in the evolution of a human being. Well, you know, you're born into a family these days and you're raised up and you go to the school systems and you are told that if you don't go to college, you're gonna be a failure, you're a loser, like you might as well just, <laughs> why even exist, right? They even have classes now that's, uh, you know, college prep. And if you're not as smart as the other kids, you can go to career prep, okay? So basically there's this social pressure that if you don't go to college and you don't get a degree, and the degree, by the way, better be really, really expensive, okay, and from a really, really well-known school, or you're just going to be a loser. You're going to be a loser. You see that lightning? Pretty uh, wild storm out there, okay? So you better go to college or else, like, some really, really bad thing's going to happen. Um, no, not specifically anything like they're not not exactly what's gonna happen but something bad is gonna happen if you don't go to college okay so that's what we're told right now I dropped out of college on the first day that I went there um, I realized that I was going because of this social pressure pressure not because I wanted to what I wanted to do was start my own company start my own business start my own mission right and what I have found in speaking to, I mean, some of the biggest business leaders out there, media icons, people with huge, huge platforms, as well as people who have nothing, who are aspiring, who are starving artists and starving writers and everything in between, right? I've had that opportunity, thankfully, to speak with all these people. What I've realized is when you caved into this pressure, when you get that degree, not because you want to, not because you want to become a marine biologist, or not because you want to become um, an engineer, but because you feel that you should. Like, I have to do it, or else my family will be ashamed of me, my friends will be ashamed of me, my, prof my teachers, right, in, in high school who said, if you don't go to college, you'll be a failure. And most of all, society. How many times have you uh, gone to an event and someone says, where'd you go to school? Where's your degree? And guess what? Those people are judging you based on that question. And I say, I dropped out the first day. I dropped out of a decent school the first day. And by the way, if you classify people by their university degree, uh, you're already on the wrong track. That's not how you get to know people. But you'll notice, so people ask, where'd you, where'd you graduate? It's a social pressure, okay? Now, I have come to the point now as an entrepreneur and working with some really, really fantastic people where I have, through my mission, employed several PhDs, employed doctors, employed individuals who have masters in various categories, okay? Is that because I'm awesome and cool and so smart? No, it's not. It's because I was actually dedicated to my mission and saw it through. So what happens is, though, some people cave to the social pressure. They, I have to get a degree or I'll be a loser. And then they graduate and they have a crisis, whether it's right after they graduate or later in their life, and they realize, Oh my gosh, I did something not because I wanted to and because I knew it would make me happy and fulfill me. I did it because I thought I had to. And what does that lead to? It leads to deep, deep inner crisis, self-hatred and loathing, and hating and resenting all the people and society that forced you to go into something you didn't like. So you're not fulfilled, you're not happy. Because an Ivy League degree might win you a job interview, but it's not going to give you happiness. It's not going to give you fulfillment. It's not going to give you pretty much anything if that's not what you want. Now, that's not to say you should not get a degree. If you want to do something that you are aspiring to and interested in, and you want to get a degree in it, that's awesome. I love education. Hey, I read so much. I watch so much. I learn and learn and learn. I'm like a sponge, 
okay? And I wouldn't want to go to a surgeon that doesn't have a degree, <laughs> okay? I wouldn't want um, someone who is designing a tower or something to be like, oh, well, I just looked it up on YouTube, right? Degrees have their place, 100%. Education is amazing. It's an amazing tool. It's what this video in some form or uh, way is. It's education. So it's not that the, de the degree is inherently bad, but it may be worthless if you did it because you don't actually care about that profession or whatever you're doing because you did it instead for social pressure reasons, because your family, society, et cetera, said you had to. And what happens then is the degree becomes not only worthless, it becomes a hindrance. It becomes a hindrance on your life path because instead of going the way you want it to go, you took a big, big detour for 10 years, 20 years, however long it is that you got that degree and worked that job. And then we wonder why 70% of Americans hate their job. <laughs> 